The Indiana State University community and campus continues to mourn the loss of 24-year-old student Zinetta Morgan. She died in a car crash on Tuesday. Today, Nicole Kersin met with some of the people closest to her on campus and learned that she was a young woman with a thirst for knowledge and a magnetic personality and a genuine desire to lift others up. She was the sign and you can't damn the sign. Zenyetta Morgan spent her 24 years brightening the lives of those around her. I like to say um, I fell in love with her the first time I met her. And once you know her, you are brought into her orbit and become part of her life. She is so good at making people feel like they belong around her and everyone wants to belong around her. Morgan was killed in a car wreck on April 16th, just weeks shy of her graduation from Indiana State University, where she was studying African and African American studies and elementary education and made an impact on her peers and her mentors. She had the intellectual ability to really be a scholar and I think one of the things that I mourn the most is her potential because she did hope to go to grad school. She would have been phenomenal in an elementary ed classroom, but she also would have been phenomenal in um, higher ed. Dr. Tiffany Reed said she considered Morgan to be her mini-me and a true sister through the Delta Sigma Theta sorority. It was an honor to pin her, um, to watch her become our member, to become our sister. She's going to be truly missed. You have no idea. You have no idea. It's a, it's a huge loss. But in that loss and in their grief, Zanetta's loved ones say they're determined to live out her legacy. Recently, my brother just passed away. She was like the only person who made sure she texts me weekly. So I just feel like I have to do that back to her family now because she did it for me. She never like left me without telling me she loved me. Um, and so I challenge every student, every person, every human being is that tomorrow isn't never promised um, and that you love even more, you be kind even more, you and be present even more. She wanted um, everyone to connect in real terms. And I think if we connect in real terms with people, that's a huge <laughs> memorial to her. Reporting at Indiana State University, I'm Nicole Christine. There is a celebration of life service planned for next Wednesday evening on ISU's campus. We plan to share more of Zanetta's story with you ahead of that service.